Hi everyone, so welcome to today's video. Today we are taking a look behind the scenes at what my desk looks like when I'm done filming, the mess and the aftermath <laughs> of filming and what it's like when I'm done because it's a mess. It's currently needing to be organized and put away. I kind of organized it before and then it's a mess again because I did my makeup today. So I want to share with you guys what it looks like and then kind of go through my drawers and show you the products that I have in the drawers. Each drawer has a specific category and they're all in like little baskets. And the whole point of this is because I need to start decluttering products and getting rid of things that I don't really enjoy anymore. Products that have been sitting there for a while, products that I have not used in the last year. Anything that I just don't see myself using has to go and I need to be honestly a little bit more brutal when it comes to minimizing my collection than what I actually did for this video because I feel like I still have so much more product and I'm really trying hard not to buy too many things. Uh, this is sort of coming a few months before moving. I, I shared with you guys in an update video a few videos back um, about moving. We are building a home and so it's in the building process right now so hopefully it's done on time and that's going to be in a few months. So we really want to just take what we need and get rid of the rest. And that applies to my makeup because <laughs> I have a lot of stuff. I love makeup. I love getting ready. It's, it's just part of me and who I am. So I really do want to try hard to kind of use up some things in the next coming months, rotate some products, not get stuck using the same thing over and over again. So just kind of doing like an overview of the products is I think easier instead of holding up one bottle at a time. This is this, the, you know, it's going to be a long video if I share with you every single thing. So I'll just kind of do a glance over and kind of share with you guys why I'm getting rid of the things that I am and kind of just as quick and short as possible and kind of get to the point. So we don't drag out this video. So I'm going to share with you guys my little collection here in my drawers and hopefully it kind of gets me on that path of minimizing and clearing my stuff out. So here's a look kind of behind the scenes of what my desk looks like after I'm done filming or doing my makeup for the day. I need to put all this stuff away but before I do that I wanted to go through my drawers and kind of purge some things so I have all of my stuff in like little baskets by category feel like it makes it a little bit easier for me when I'm trying to find products to use for the day. This top one here doesn't have a whole lot of stuff. It's just mostly like brows, mascara, um, eyelash curlers, moisturizer, pencils. Like this is a mess. <laughs> um, this second one here that I showed you earlier is all of like my complexion products. So concealers, foundations, BB creams, CC creams, powders, translucent powders, setting powders, even like mineral based powders. This one has a bunch of stuff like this little bin here is like highlighters. These are all my blush products, bronzers. These are palettes but underneath there are some more cream products that I like using. So I need to definitely kind of organize that. And then this bottom one here is where I keep all of my new products. So new things that I get in the mail from orders, if I get anything from PR, it's kind of stored in here and I have yet to go through these things and use them. Some things have been here for quite some time, so I do need to kind of purge some of the things that have not been used. Now this basket here is all my lip products that have been used, but everything else is new and as I said with an upcoming move, I kind of need to get rid of some things, so I have some work to do. And then here's another drawer on the other side of my desk. Um, the other drawers, like this is like some skincare backups in here. This is where I keep all of my eyeshadows. And then that's pretty much it. Those are the drawers that I use. So these have all of my palettes. Definitely need to get rid of some of these. I won't be taking all of them to the new house. I feel like I need to kind of let these go. And then these are all like samples, some gift for purchases, things like that that are in the back that I saved. Either I need to use them or get rid of them. And here's the same thing, more gift with purchases, an extra basket, um, the brush roll to hold my ColourPop brushes, and then this little box here where I keep all of my skincare samples from gift sets, um, kits and things like that that I get that I purchase. That's where I put all that stuff and then this is the one that has like skincare. This is like a roller, some stuff from ColourPop, skincare, things I haven't used but 
this side over here is pretty much where I keep the majority of my makeup. This is to the right side of where I'm sitting, so it's just easy for me to reach. So I definitely need to purge some things, but I don't think I've shared too much about like the behind the scenes, like the mess <laughs> that is left after I'm done filming. And sometimes I get a chance to put everything away, and then a lot of times it stays like this until I get a chance to come up here and clean it. All right, so here's an overview of everything that I'm getting rid of. Some foundations that are either old, which is the Too Faced one, and then some that just didn't work very well with my drier skin, so like the Dose of Colors, the e.l.f. one, the Flower Serum one that recently came out. This is a stick foundation from Bare Minerals that looks absolutely disgusting. I don't know what happened to that formula, but it's going in the trash. The Revlon Candid one I have talked about, as you can see, the tube is almost empty. The concealer is also really beautiful, but it is old, so I think if I wanted to repurchase it sometime down the road when I finish something else, I would definitely buy those again because they're really good um, concealers and foundations. Then I have these primers, like the e.l.f. one with the cannabis, the Dr. Brandt. Um, the e.l.f. one with the cannabis, um, the hemp seed in it, just didn't wow me, and then the Dr. Brandt is a very good one, but it's also old. It's as old as one of my daughters, <laughs> and she's two, so it's got to go. And then here's some lip products that I didn't really care for, so like the lip pencils from e.l.f., um, some lip oils. Some of these from e.l.f. here are really good, but they're just old, and I've used quite a bit of it, as you can see. Some other products, so like Kylie Cosmetics, that I didn't really care for. Some liquid eyeshadows from Wander Beauty, a lipstick from Wander Beauty, some NARS. These are just the things that I have not been enjoying or reaching for. I don't see myself using them in the future, so they're going to go. And then for some eyeshadow palettes, I have this one from Flower Beauty that was just okay. This is an old one from CoverGirl. My camera will focus. There. This one here, I only use the bronzer, so I think I'm going to see if my mom wants it because it has really pretty colors. So this is Laura Geller, and the bronzer formula was really great on this, but I just didn't use it, so I think I'm going to pass that off to her. This one is super old, but one of my favorites. This is several years old, and I haven't been able to part ways with it, but I think it's time to say goodbye. I have this little palette from Wander Beauty, the Wondrous After Party, if I can open it with one hand. It was pretty, but it just, again, very sparkly, not something that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, so I think I'm just going to let this one go as well. The Tati Beauty one, again, one that I have not used in over a year, so it's going to go as well, unfortunately. And then the So Jaded, it's upside down by ColourPop, which is a good one, but again, hasn't been used in over a year, so I'm going to let that go as well. And I think that's it for now as far as purging products from my collection. I feel like I did some good here. Not quite a bit, as big of a dent as I would have liked to have done, but I have some work to do as far as trying products and seeing if I could finish some things up before my move in a couple of months. All right, so that is it. That is kind of what my desk looks like. Honestly, more often than not, I'm not going to see her lie. It looks a mess all the time because I'm always playing with something. I'm always rearranging things and reaching for things, mixing things here and there. And so when I get to do that and play, which it's not all the time where I get to mix a bunch of different things and kind of create my own thing, it gets even messier. There's product everywhere. You know, I've got makeup smears on my desk. <laughs> on the, It's like I, get, I come up here and I'm just in the zone and I absolutely love it. Um, but there's something to be said about being more organized and having it just more clean and streamlined because it just makes getting ready easier. And I don't wear makeup every single day, but I try to do makeup as often as I can um, just because I, I like the way it makes me feel. It just, there's something about makeup, the power of makeup that just kind of gets you going and makes you feel uplifted and ready to tackle the day. And that's super important to me. So I really hope that I can make some effort into using some of these things that I still have because I have a lot like this is a lot and I get it for one person to use I, trust me I know <laughs> um, but anyways I just wanted to share that with you guys so you guys can see something behind the scenes because I don't really share that that often I have previously here and there on Instagram as I'm cleaning and organizing but not really dedicating a video to going through my makeup and kind of minimizing my stuff so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions about any of the products that you saw, if you want to see some of these 
specific products in action in a video that I have in my drawers. I would love to do that because everything in my drawers is awesome and I'm really happy that I have what's good so I can reach in there with my eyes closed and know that it's going to be good and that's a great feeling. So thank you so much for being here. Hopefully you will tune in for the next video. Subscribe so you get notified and hit the notification bell so that you know when I post a video. I'm right now trying to post once a week if possible. So hopefully you'll tune into the next one. You can follow me on Instagram. It's on the screen. I hope you guys are doing well and I will catch you very, very soon. Bye-bye.